when allegations of foreign interference, particularly allegations of harassment and intimidation are made, it is extremely important that these allegations are supported by evidence, that the allegations do not go any further than are absolutely necessary for investigative purposes, that the allegations are made known to the individuals and organizations involved, and that every effort is made to avoid the collateral damage that comes with allegations that may prove to be false. This center is still providing services to the Chinese community and others. I was just upstairs on the third floor witnessing the good work that the organization is doing for people who need help with immigration, with legal issues, with family services, with psychological difficulties, helping students, helping new immigrants, helping old immigrants. And they've been doing this for 50 years. But the fact that they've been named by the RCMP, by the minister, by many of you in the media, named and to some extent already found guilty of having done illegal activities that haven't been explained has made their work more difficult. It has caused members of the community to hesitate to come and seek services. And they suffer. Not you, not the minister, not the RCMP, but the individuals who would come here for services and who are hesitating to come because they, don't, they worry about what might happen if they come here. They are the ones suffering. We thank the courage of the community who pledged to act to protect our fundamental human rights, saying that if this can happen to organizations with nearly five decades of exemplary service to the community, then anyone can be the next victim.